Good morning, everybody. Um, it's another glorious day here on the Isle of Wight. Absolutely beautiful. So, going to get some more work done today. Becky's at the um, laundrette, so she's not with me today, so it's just me. So, I think what I'm going to try and do today is start running some of the cables through the walls of the van so that we can finish the insulation. Um, unfortunately, not all of the cables have arrived yet, but I've got the one and a half mil cable. So I'm going to run that through for the LED lights and the um, USB sockets. Um, that's perfectly adequate for those. I'm going to start with these cables that we ran through from the solar panels and the uh, 4G booster aerial yesterday. Um, so we've got these coming through here. So the, uh, the solar panel cables are going to go through a grommet up here. I'm uh, going to drill a hole, put a grommet in, put those in there, run them down the back of this wall um, to this area at the bottom. This is where most of our electrics are going to be. The two white cables um, are going to go through the grommet and then head this way um, because the router itself is going to be in this cupboard up here somewhere. So there'll be a 12 volt socket there as well uh, to supply power to the router. So we're going to drill a hole um, up here, uh, ready for, or suitable for a 20 mil grommet. We have a um, very simple pouch and a paper. Uh, it's going to pop this underneath. I'll pop this underneath when we do the drilling, uh, just to catch all the swarf, because we don't want that um, all hiding in the van and going rusty. So yeah, just going to get the whole saw out now. I'll drill out and um, put a put a hole in there, stick a 20 mil grommet in, and then feed these cables. Okay, so starting to run the cables through now. Um, the unprotected cables we've got in conduit. Um, this cable, one and a half mil cables in a rubber sheath. So that doesn't need to be in the conduit. They're uh, running down um, and coming out where our electrics are gonna be at the bottom and we're using these label, uh, cable labels, uh, which are really useful bits of kit, just to label each one as we go, as we pull it through. Um, here, coming out where the top cupboard's gonna be in the living area, uh, we've got the power for the 4G booster and the aerials for the 4G booster. Uh, so I'm now gonna run the cable, uh, now gonna run the cable for our tracker um, which will allow us to know exactly where our bus is all the time um, obviously I'm not going to show you where I'm putting this um, this will be hidden inside the body of the bus and yeah it'll be it'll be powered from uh, both the van battery the vehicle battery and the leisure batteries so whichever Whichever battery is still attached, um, the tracker will still work. It's got a 45 day backup battery in it anyway. Um, so if somebody does disconnect the batteries and tow the van, um, it will still work for hopefully oh, long enough for us to get it back. So I'm gonna run the power cables for this now um, and get this fitted so that we can we can bury that in the, in the chassis and leave it to do its job. All right, I've just run the cable from the, for the sod kit for our toilet, um, as with everything else starts in this void um, behind the back wheel arch um, comes up the conduit up the back of this pillar and then I found that from this hole here in this direction you can take a cable through the back so it it comes up the conduit here um, there's quite a sharp edge in here so this conduit goes up um, to about this height and then the cable comes this way through the back into this and then all the way through there across the top of the back doors um, same thing this side this way slight angle upwards um, comes out into here and then all the way down the length of the bus through this top section of the taxi uh, till we get to the front um, and then again down at a slight angle into here now this is where I came across 
a problem. I couldn't get it to go down because I wanted it to come out of this hole here. Um, so I've had to remove the, uh, the plastic around the seat belt at the bottom and at the top. So I found that I came out here and then went back in at this sort of angle. Um, it brought me into here and then I came out, pulled all the cable out again and then went back in and down and that allowed me to, to bring it out through this hole on the back and again in the conduit all the way down to the bottom and I've just left it there ready for the socket which is going out through the wall or the cassette for the toilet is going out through the wall here somewhere. So that's that one in, uh, light light and fan for the shower room, that's, that's threaded through. Um, I don't have the cable for the max air fan yet, um, I need a 10 mil cable for that because of the length of the run. Uh, so I'm going to run a lighting cable next, I think, for this side of the bus. So I've decided to split the lighting left and right. All of our puck lights are going to be touch on off anyway. Um, so just for the sake of the fuse box, split it left and right seemed to be the easiest thing to do. So I just need to run those left and right power cables for the ceiling and under cupboard lighting. And then all that's left to go in the ceiling then is the cable for the Max Air Fan, which is, like I said, a 10 mil cable. Uh, so I'm just waiting for that to arrive um, to connect up to these and then once that's done uh, yeah I can um, or we when Becky gets back we can insulate the ceiling which would be nice uh, yeah it's coming on okay it's coming on okay right so yeah I need to run another cable across these back doors um, one more just for these lights Right, so I think we're pretty much done for today. Hello. Look who's home from work. <laughs> yes. Oh, I had a lovely week off last week. But, uh, <laughs> no, Becky had a lovely week off from work yeah, last week. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, I'm having mine this week. Apparently it's my turn this week. So I think we've done everything we can. We've run the Arctic Blue Cable um, from this side of the bus, where our electrics are all going to be, to that side of the bus, where our shore power hookup is going to be. That'll be our incoming supply. We've got all of our cable in for our lighting. Um, our solar panels. Yeah, our solar panels, the sob kit. Tracker. Um, we can't we can't do the cabling for the 12 volt USB sockets yet because they're all going to be built into the furniture. Um, we had an interesting, uh, we bought the 10 mil cable. Six mil. Six mil cable even, thank you. Six mil cable for the fridge and the diesel heater. Um, we yeah. ordered six meters six red, meters. six meters of black, and we've been sent 2.3 meters of black and 3.3 meters of red. So can't do that today. <laughs> no. uh, so Becky's just got onto them and said, Oi! Send, send us the rest of the cable. Yeah, send us the rest office. of the cable. So, um, yeah, not a lot else we can do here today, plus it is now getting cold. Yeah, it's definitely one o'clock, I reckon. Yeah, definitely one o'clock. So, we will um, catch up with you in a bit. It's amazing though, isn't it, how fast your bus turns into a spaghetti junction. Yeah. And none of it. And buy these labels. Oh, yeah, amazing. Do not yeah. wire without these labels. Buy these labels because it's all the same colour. Buy these labels. They're amazing. You cannot wire your bus, van... On a go kart without them. No. Buy these because cool, cool cable labels. They're awesome, and because I don't know anything about electrics, I know nothing about electrics. I would not have a clue because it's all black. That's live. Oh, I'm gonna put that one down then. See, you know enough about electrics. It's not live. <laughs> it's not connected to anything. But you do know it'll give you an electric shock. You're such a something. <laughs> <laughs> it's not allowed to be See, said you, on the interweb. You do know something about um, electrics. Yeah buy these labels yeah. because it's just it's just a mess of mm. black mm. and they don't come off um i no. pulled a couple of cables back through to reroute them and those labels they just stay on so they're fantastic we've put um we've put conduit uh to protect cables where they go although this one needs a piece on um where they go in through the metal work uh just to protect them um from any movement while the bus is in motion 
Um, but yeah, it's, it's the Movano mini bus is actually a really easy thing to thread cables through. Yeah, it's got gaps. loads and loads and loads of gaps, isn't it? Loads of gaps. Yeah, loads of gaps and they're all just where you need them. So um, we seem to have a lot more gaps than other people have got in there because we've got the windows. We've got gaps above the windows, gaps below the windows. There are yeah. just gaps everywhere. Yeah. So, yeah, it's going it's going quite well. So, yeah, we're going to knock it on ahead for today. Um, hopefully tomorrow. I'm going to start the bulkhead, rebuilding the bulkhead. I'll be working. Yeah, Becky's going back to work tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try, yeah, I'm going to get the tools out and re start rebuilding the bulkhead tomorrow and then we can wire the cables in for the lights and things in that. Yeah, so, see you all tomorrow. Bye. Bye.